Hi, Jesse Williams, product specialist with Case IH. Uh, we're near Leschler, Nebraska today. We're doing some white food grade corn with uh, Steve Hebner. He currently runs 8230s. He's demoing a 8250 with a 4412 corn hit. See the machines coming through the field in the background here. Corn's running about 225 yield, about 15% moisture. So give you a few details on how we got this machine set up uh, for this food grade corn. Really not much different than we would do on a regular machine. We got a round bar concave left number one position, a round bar right number two position. We've got large wire in the left number two and the uh, right number one. So that's doing a good job of getting the corn off the cob as well as separating the corn. We have the 25 millimeter round bars in the back of this machine, give us a little bit more separation. We just did a kill stall a little while ago and looked through the machine. We have no kernels that we can find in the back of the rotor, so nothing's going through the rotor. We're really doing a good job of getting that grain out in the rotor, finding no corn on the kernels in the back of the rotor either. So we're getting it all threshed off the cob really good, uh, getting good sieve distribution, feeding those sieves, and we're getting a pretty good clean sample. So we are running automation on this machine. I'll give you a little bit of details on how we set that up. I mentioned that we did open that bottom sieve all the way up. We turned it off in the cleaning tab. Uh, we started with the default sensitivity. So we went into the sensitivity tab, scrolled to the bottom, hit reset the defaults. We came out, we ran this machine a little bit. Uh, we found that we needed to bump the rotor loss sensitivity down with those 25 millimeter round bars in the back. We were getting some of those cobs coming through, hitting that rotor loss uh, sensor that was setting it off. So we dialed it down a little bit. Uh, we dialed the sieve loss down just a touch from the default values. We took the MOG up maybe 15 points from the default values and uh, we're pretty close to default on the damage grain. I think we dropped it down maybe five or 10 points. Uh, as we got this machine broke in, we would maybe bring that up just a touch. So uh, not running feed rate control out here. This is a pretty rolling field. So the operator is changing that speed a lot on his own. If we were in a little flatter ground, we, we would maybe let feed rate take over and adjust that speed for us. So what we did with this machine with our automation is we got those sensitivities dialed in with automation turned off. Uh, we kind of tried to get everything adjusted so that our graphs were running right around that 50% for rotor loss, sieve loss, damage grain, and MOG. Uh, in our advanced tab, we chose uh, current settings as our starting point, and then we turned automation on. So we did see it make a few changes once we turned it on. Uh, it did drop the rotor speed down some, as well as it slowed the veins down a little bit. So. Uh, we did adjust the ranges a little bit since we're in the food grade corn here. We went into the easy thresh uh, setting in ranges and we set a maximum rotor speed and easy thresh of 375. That's typically what he says he runs for a maximum in this food grade corn. And then we set a minimum of 280. So that's allowing that rotor to drop down a little extra on RPM to help minimize that damage. We're keeping the concaves really clean. So not too concerned about dropping that rotor speed down a little bit lower. Uh, it seems to be working pretty good in this condition. Another item that we did on our setup of this machine is we went in and we set up our automatic feeder speed. So automatic feeder speed is a Case IH exclusive with our CVT drives. We're able to vary that feeder speed very easily. So with auto feeder speed, it works much like your auto reel speed that you're used to with your bean head. Uh, as we speed up and slow down that machine, we're gonna speed up and slow down that feeder hose. So we've got a minimum speed set in our feeder tab of around 1.5. We've got a maximum around 4.5. We went into our header tabs and we set the, uh, <coughs> the feeder speed at its lower range. So that's adjusting that feeder speed from around 475 up to about 580 as we speed up and slow down. So you can see in this field, got some pretty good dips out here. So as he slows down to go through them, it's slowing that feeder house down, slowing those stock rolls down, minimizing our butt shelling. Uh, it's also helping minimize the damage in this food grade corn by running that feeder house a little bit slower uh, as we slow the machine down in certain areas of the field. So 
So we'll take a look at how we're doing our loss checks out here on this demo today. I've got these uh, baking sheets that I throw out and I use them to do my loss checks so I can look inside the pan and see what I've got for uh, combine loss. I can flip that pan up and I can look underneath and see underneath what my header loss is. So I've thrown these out. Um, I've done about 30 square foot. So that was uh, five tosses on either side of the machine. Kind of been varying from just inside the uh, steer tires to just outside the duels. Kind of vary that, uh, that check a little bit. Um, what I found, I found two kernels in that 30 square foot coming out of the combine. So very acceptable there that to break it down, bushels per acre is 0 0.01 uh, bushels per acre. So very acceptable there. Hitter, I've got about an eighth of a bushel per acre loss. And this is 15 moisture corn. So also very acceptable there as well. 